Bluetooth devices are everywhere. They share some characteristics with Wi-Fi in terms of the frequency used, which is 2.4 GHz. But the protocols and the properties of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are somehow different. Thus, Bluetooth is more secure and the common hacking tools we use for Wi-Fi might not all work for Bluetooth hacking. A Bluetooth usually uses hopping frequencies in, in terms that two devices use an algorithm to shift frequencies all the time, so it will be not easy to tap on those devices. Given that, the devices will exchange a pairing key once they establish their first communication. So, going further on their second and third communication, you will not be able to tap because you already don't have the key. One key feature is that many devices randomize their MAC addresses each time. So again, this is another challenge when tapping on Bluetooth devices. So let's open Kali here. Make sure to update. Uh, use the EPT update and upgrade commands before you run this attack or uh, exercise. Now, for the common network interface, you use ifconfig to get the features and get the properties. Now, for Bluetooth devices, we can use a similar command called HCI config, and it will give us the MAC address of the Bluetooth interface and will give us the status which is running. Usually, first it will not be running, so you might want to use HCI config, then specify the address, the sorry, specify the name of the Bluetooth port and then make it up. So it will be here up and running. Now that we have made the Bluetooth interface up and running, the second thing to do is to scan the Bluetooth devices within the perimeter here. So let's use another tool called HCI tool and you might hit enter, but before let me show you the manual for this tool. So this tool is to configure Bluetooth devices. You can actually display local devices, inquire remote devices, scan, and discover remote devices, etc. So let's use HCI tool, then scan. It will scan the perimeter for any available Bluetooth devices. So hope that I have some Bluetooth devices on. So here we have two devices, the AirPods Pro, and the tracks air aftershocks. It will tell you the name of the device plus the MAC address of the device. You can go a little bit further using the same tool, HCI tool. Suppose that you got an, a MAC address here without a name. So you can copy that here, copy the MAC address. And let me put MAC here name and then paste the Mac, paste clipboard, you will eventually get the name. So just in case there is no name here populated. So this is very simple. Now there is another tool called SDP tool. It is used as well to control and interrogate SDP devices. Going on with the manual, you can browse, add records, etc. So let's see how this works. SDP tool, you can as well browse it will as well do the same thing for that hci tool did it will just browse and scan for available bluetooth devices let's wait for that and here we go i think it found the same one yeah the same bluetooth devices now if you want some graphical user interface for bluetooth device scanning you can use an application called bt scanner so just use the command apt apt install bt scanner to install the application run you can run it by invoking bt scanner and here you will have a gui interface you can press i to inquire scan you can press a to abort the scan and you can press o to sort and Q to quit. So let's inquire what we have in the vicinity of our place here. 
again it found the same devices let me go down to the Trex Air Aftershocks and press enter on that so here you'll be able to see more details on the Bluetooth device not just the address the owner first seen last seen the name maybe some vulnerabilities and the services this device let's go back and the services that this device offer you can press a to abort the scan and you can start the inquiry again using the i button